Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to some Sky Adventures. How you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. I am. I have gotten over the bit of the cold or whatever it was that I had. I feel a lot better. Um, so, last episode. Matter of fact, let's just have a recap here because we've got mixed up in all the videos and everything else I've been putting out. We have finished Thumbcraft. We have finished the Thumbcraft Quest of Lines. We've got all that stuff done. We have finished IC2. At least the IC2 set of quests. Uh, we are going to have to do the uh, reactor. We're going to get to that at a later point. Last episode, we got started with bees. This episode, we're going to continue with bees. Uh, I do have one quest I want to complete right quick. Um, actually, we got two quests to complete right quick. We've got our quest for Draconium. I meant to do this last episode, and I forgot about it. And then we've also got our quest in the bees here for the beeswax. There we go. So, first things first, let's get our wallet out. Let's throw our moolah up in there. We're almost at 900 bucks. Let's open our loot crate and another octatic capacitor. We're going to be putting those to use pretty soon. Because uh, we are just more or less wasting power around here. We're generating power over here more than what we're using. We're generating power over here. It's close to what we're using. Uh, that power over there we're going to be using today. It's probably going to be more than what we've got. But anyways, we've got other stuff to worry about today-ish. Today-ish, we're going to... First off, we're going to talk about Stone Block. Stone Block, it's going to be a few days before I get the episode up. I've talked about that before. We'll talk about it again. Uh, I let, after the last episode of Stone Block, I let the world run for 24 hours straight. I may have close to half of what we need for all the Infinity stuff. May. Um, so, I gotta let it run for at least another 24 hours to get the other half of what we need just for the Infinity Ingots. And then a little bit longer than that to get the Neutronium that we need. Without just going crazy and making a thousand compressors. So, we're going to stick with this for a few days this week, and by, hopefully by the end of the week we'll have Stone Block taken care of. So, we're back to bees. Uh, last episode, we got to where we made the bee house. We got through the forestry stuff. Since last episode, the only thing I have done, and I did not realize this last episode, uh, all the hives have uh, EMC. So I have made all of them from forestry. I've made a few of the Benny's extra bees. The only ones I have not made are the magic bees. Have not made those yet. Uh, we may before it's done over with. I'm not sure. So, but first things first. We need to make some labware. We're going to be working on getting to the point of being able to breed bees easily. So we need glass panes and we need diamonds. There's some glass panes. There's a diamond. And there is our labware. This has EMC. Let's go ahead and learn it. We're going to need quite a few of those. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and grab a stack. Let us turn that quest in for a big dollar bill. Next up is the industrial apiary. We are going to have to make, well, we're not going to have to make, we're going to wind up making a few of those. Um, so let's take a look at this. So we're going to need some sturdy casings, some bronze gears, a bee receptacle, which is a bunch of bees, or a bunch of bronze, gold pressure plate. We're going to need a little bit of stuff here. So let's get a few things out. Gold. I don't need that much gold, Lord. Uh, redstone. 
we might need a bunch of that. Uh, bronze. Uh, sturdy casing. And let's take a work at this. Alright, so B receptacle. We need a weighted pressure plate. Those have EMC. Let's learn that right quick. And let's make that. That's got EMC. Let's learn that. Alright. Next up is our bronze gears. Let's go ahead. Learn those. That should be... Oh, we need a piston and some glass. And boom, there we go. There is our industrial apiary. This is this right here, but we can automate it with power. So that is complete. We're going to place this down over here. We'll line these up over here. We'll line the rest of the stuff up over there. This thing, we can put bees in it. We don't have any power. We need to put, get some power. And let's go with the B power. So we can put bees in here. Uh, this right here is a spot to where we can change. Um, let's bring this up. Uh, every bee has to have, you know, certain humidity, certain flowers, got to be in a certain biome. Uh, stuff like that uh, we can add upgrades to the industrial apiary to where we can just have them here instead of having to go all over the place to do that uh, we can also set it up with uh, production automation which m makes it to where they produce more we can set it up with uh, automation upgrades to where it'll just keep recycling them all that kind of stuff we'll get into that in a Bit. Thought I put my money up. All right. So next up on the list, we just completed that. We need the advanced mutatron. This is where so we've got to make the regular mutatron, and then we've got to make the advanced mutatron. So we need two B receptacles. Easy enough. Actually, we need three of those. We're going to need another sturdy casing. We are going to need this genetics processor, which is diamonds, ender pearls, redstone. So there is a diamond. Wait, no. We needed four diamonds, I think it was. We've got redstone. We need quartz. Yeah, we'll just grab a bunch. And an ender pearl. And that should be all we need for it. There we go. Let us learn that. That is quite expensive. And then we need this mutagen tank, which is just tin and glass panes. We've got that. Let's get some tin. There we go. I thought I learned that. I wasn't for sure. I wanted to make sure. And the last thing we need is the power module, which is four gears, two pistons. And I think that was it. Oh, two pieces of gold. There we go. That is learned. And there is our Mutatron. That is just tier one. This thing by itself. You can put two... It, it, 
this is for bee breeding. You can put two bees in here, give it some mutagen, and it will breed bees. Uh, it is not a guarantee. Well, I will say this. If you've got more than one type of bee that can be bred, you can't choose. Um, it's just a random chance of which one you're going to get. Uh, also, it is... Um, there is more of a chance of not getting the bee that you need. Or not the bee that you need, but getting a bee altogether because you can get waste. So advanced mutatron is what we need next. So four gears. Two genetics processors. power module and I believe we've got everything so there we go our advanced mutatron we're going to place this down over here let's go ahead and give that some power it's going to take a bunch Alright, so now with this, we can have the option, if there's more than one bee that can be bred by two bees, we've got the option of choosing which one that we want it to breed. We messed up. Well, not messed up, but we forgot to complete our quest. Why you want to be like that? I think it's because it's already got power in it. We'll just go ahead and get that. Claim that. Get that. We'll put that back in there. And we've got $900. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, so we need to make some mutagen. I don't even think that's on one of the quests that we need to do. Uh, no, that's genetics replicator, DNA extractor. That's we're gonna make this stuff, uh, but we're probably not going to use it. Uh, that's for far more advanced bee breeding than what we're gonna get into. So we need to make this mutagen producer. Uh, not really hard to do here. We need some gears. Sturdy casing power module two power modules a tank and a hopper and that should be everything all right Let's place this down right here. Let's give it some power. Now basically this will produce mutagen. Mutagen can be produced uh, I don't see the list for that. Uh, I believe it's redstone. I don't know if glowstone works. Uh, glowstone does work. I had to go look it up. I done forgot. So you can use redstone dust, redstone blocks, glowstone dust, glowstone blocks, uh, eulorium, and uranium blocks. Uranium blocks are probably the best thing to use. Now, we don't have any uranium. Uh, but we do. Should. Let's go check our void ore miner here. Uh, uranium ore. I'm gonna bet we can't smelt that. Uses. Has to be in a redstone furnace.
we need to upgrade these. Let's see here. Let's give it some power. That will not go in there. But it will go in here. Come on. There's some grit. The grit. Why will it go in a red alloy smelter? It will go in an alloy smelter. It will not go in that alloy smelter, I don't guess. Can we put it in a regular furnace? Yes. Alright. Let's get this out of here. Let's put that back. Let's get that. Let's learn that. Let's get a stack. Actually, we didn't really need a stack. I want that. This is going to hurt. That hurt a lot. But we're going to need a lot of this stuff. So. So we should be able to throw that. We've got. We got 200 from. Um, the piece of glowstone. These will generate. And those aren't going to go in there. They're supposed to. They are supposed to. Alright, fine. Be that way. We'll just use redstone blocks. And we can get some conduit. Extract always active and insert. And We've got the mutagen in there. Beautiful. So we are basically ready now to start our basic bee breeding. We can take two different ones here. Let's take a let's use a forest and a water. You take these two, put them in here. That'll give us a common queen. I think we need to put their labware there. There we go. It'll use one of those. It'll work. And we've got a common queen. Beautiful. Now sometimes you can get genetic waste. Uh, this can just be used right back in here and turned into mutagen. Um, and then we can take this over here, put it in here, and it will tell us it's too, hu too hot, too humid, and no flowers. So, we want to make a dryer upgrade we want to make a what is that uh, not plains light winter sky heater sieve there should be one for Too hot, too humid. There should be one for cooling it off. Uh, we may have to just... Whoops. Oh, there it is. Cooler upgrade. So, that's what we need to work on. So, first things first, we need to make these upgrade frames, which aren't that hard to do. Ten gold and redstone. We've got that. So there is our upgrade frame. Let's learn that. All right. So we need the humidifier one to drop the humidity. So we need bronze, sand, and glass. We've got bronze. 
or sand. I think it was only one piece of glass, but so there is that. And we will learn this. And we should be able to take this over here and throw it inside. And now you see it just says too hot and no flowers. So let's get an upgrade base. We need the one for cooler. So we need some snowballs. And there we go. There's that one. So now we've got that. All we need now is to get some flowers. Get some grass. Grab a poppy. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Actually, it's already enough. It's already there was it's recognizing that flower over there. So this is now breeding. So now we can wait for it and we'll get a common princess and a, some common drones. So that's more or less how to get started with it. And from there, um you know, it's all about uh, sorry, I had a coffin fit. Uh, from there, it's all about getting to where we need to get, which is to these bees right here. Uh, which, actually, we've got... What did I do with that? Uh, I thought we had it. Anyway, so we need... I'll be right back. Alright, I remember what it was now. Um, so we need the watery propolis, which is, I believe we get from the damp combs, I believe it is. Yeah, so we get those from the water, uh, bees. So that's something we can do right quick once this finishes through its cycle. Um, the big ones are... Well, I don't know what the unstable propolis is. That would be from an unstable bee. Or no, from a hazardous bee. Uh, that does not give us... We need transmutating comb for that. And that comes from a mutable princess, which we've got to get into magical bees. So. <coughs> Alright. So. Uh, we've got the draconic ones we've got to get. The woven silk is actually already one that we can uh, just complete doing. Uh, that is made with the silk wisps. Uh, we get those from the Silky Propolis, which we still got a handful of those that we need to go through. So hopefully, we can actually put um, some stuff in here to make this work a little better. Um, so there's three. We only got like one more somewhere. I don't even know where it's at. Um, so, but... That is kind of where I'm going to leave the bee breeding. Um, bee breeding is one of those things that's it's not very interesting work. Um, it's more or less putting stuff together um, to get to the next bee. Uh, it's kind of like doing like any kind of mystical agricultural crops or... The, the chickens, um, once you know how to do one, it's just kind of figuring it out. Um, you'll have some that'll tell you you need, you, you've got to have, you know, it's got to be hot, it's got to be warm, you need to be in a jungle, you need to be in a plains. Uh, you can set everything up in here in order to change the environment that you need. Uh, sometimes it's a matter of figuring out what flowers you need. 
Uh, most of them are pretty much like biome specific. So if you're doing one that wants a warmer climate, you probably need to use a cactus. Um, some of the, uh, like the ender bees, you've got to use um, chorus fruit, uh, stuff like that. So I'm thinking, I was hoping was hoping to get to a thousand dollars today but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen does not well I wanted to get to a hundred bucks today or a thousand bucks today by golly we're gonna do it uh, we're going to go ahead and upgrade this um, work on upgrading to our tier four uh, void ore miner stuff and I believe that is the last tier that we can do without having to uh, or without being able to use EMC. Uh, that's not what I need. I need this. There's 12. We need a diamond block. We need a piece of obsidian. And we need some lenses. So there's that. So there is our void ore miner. And there is our void resource miner. So there we go. Let's get our quest book out. There's a 50. It's an epic loot crate also. Nice. Two epic loot crates. So we've got our thousand bucks. Beautiful. Not ready to use that money just yet. So we've got four 64K drives. Beautiful. And we've got a refined storage controller. That actually, uh, storage solutions. Oh, that has to be done in order. So let's just go ahead and do that. Actually, we can just throw it in there. So, there is that. We have finished what quests we want to do today. Um, I need to get another hundred bucks between now and the next episode is the plan. Or at least start off the next episode where we can get a hundred bucks. Um, and then we will go from there. I'm wanting to, we're starting to get into stuff that's costing a little bit more EMC, uh, and our iridium chicken's just not going to cut it. So we're going to see about upgrading our mob farm. So we may go ahead and do some other magic quests and then do the mob farm. I don't know yet. But anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.